So today I'm just going to quickly show how you can export a Cabbage instrument as a VST plugin. So to do this I'm just going to open up a simple example. Let's grab something from Synths and let's grab something simple like Buzz. Okay, so that is now playing out the wrong sound card. Let me just change that. Output. Okay, and now. Okay. So you can open up any of the examples and export them as VSTs. So to do so, we just go to export. This is a synth, so we're going to export it as a plugin synth. So it's going to open up the save dialog. I have a folder called VSTs, which is an appropriate place to save a VST. I'm going to call this Buzz Synth, and I'm going to hit Save. Okay, now Cabbage is going to give us this little info, just to say where the Buzz Synth is saved. Okay, it also says that in order to modify this plugin, you need only edit the current CSD file, right? So basically, you don't need to open or you don't need to export it every time. You can just, in fact, I can just show you now, if I go to open Cabbage Instrument, I can actually click on the Buzz Synth VST, and I can open that. It will open the VST that's contained within. So let's see, for example, if I change the color, to something different. Uh, so sort of a gray. Okay, so doesn't look so nice. But so I don't need to export that. I don't need to go to export and export plugin effect or plugin synth. I just make the changes to the CSD file that's contained within the VST bundle. Okay, so the next thing I do is I'm going to launch. Uh, I have a couple of hosts here on my machine. I'm going to test with Reaper first. So you, you can't see the Reaper menu bar, but I'm going to click on options and I'm going to go to preferences. And by VST, there's this field here. So you click add and then you select, for example, I select my folder here. This is the VST folder and I hit open. Then I hit rescan and then it's going to scan through all those VSTs. I hit OK. And now I can insert that VST into. So I'm going to insert virtual instruments on new track. We exported a VST instrument, so I'm going to click on VSTI, and then we've got Buzz Synth. So click OK, and there's the Buzz Synth. And it's also outputting on the wrong sound card. But take my word for it, it works. So uh, I can show you, for example, how to do this with Ableton Live. Don't need to save that, so I'm going to open up Live 64. So, in Live you go to Options, whoa, this is also trying to access a different audio card. Uh, go to Preferences, and under File Folder, we see down here we've got uh, use VST system folder, I've got that turned off and I've got use VST plugin custom folder turned on and you can see here that I've got it selected to users that's my VST directory. If you want to change the VST, custom VST directory click browse, again it'll open up a dialog window. You have to make sure that you select the correct folder for your VSTs or else Live or Reaper or Bitwig or any all that you use won't be able to find your VST plugins. Okay, so I've got Buzz Synth here, and there's Buzz Synth, and again, it's going through the wrong sound card. Oh no, that one's okay. So that's how you export. It's the same process for VST effects as it is VST synths. Um, yeah, so that's how you export the VSTs, and that's how you can have your C sound instruments available to you in your favorite doll. Okay, thanks.